tablespoon of our yeast and one quarter of brown sugar. So now we're going to add in a three cups of flour in. You just want to slowly add it. Eventually you'll become dry enough when you can start kneading it with your fingers. So now that you got a very nice dough bowl, what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of oil and just spread it around your um, um, bowl that you're going to be putting it in for 20 minutes. Then get your little dough bowl and then just put it in there. Now let's glad wrap over the dough and try not to get any air in there. So now that our dough has rised in the sun for 20 minutes, you want to get a bowl of, boi of boiling water and a teaspoon of baking soda and put it in there. And give it a little bit of a mix. Then you want to put a handful of flour on your counter so your dough doesn't stick. And then bring out your dough. and then roll them into the size of little golf balls should look like so now that we got our little dough balls we're going to put them in the boiling water and then take them out put them into the side and then do the rest so now that we got all up dough balls we're um, going to make our pretzels but you can also make pretzel bites so it's really simple you just roll it out and then you just cut it like that and you can put cinnamon sugar on these if you want to as a sweet treat and but to make our actual pretzel what you want to do is that you want to roll you want to roll this out and the longer the the dough the better is because when you have your pretzel they end up being really small if you don't stretch it out that much so now what you want to do is make a horseshoe shape twist then twist like that and then pinch down and then you got yourself a pretzel and then keep on doing that for the rest. Preheated your oven to 120 Fahrenheit and put your pretzels in and then leave it in there for about six minutes and then you're gonna glaze it with some butter and then put some salt on. They ended up being really good. All we did to finish them off was glaze them with some butter and then we put salt on and also we put some cinnamon sugar. I hope you have enjoyed this and see you later.